Today I'm talking to Symphony's senior scientist Radu Bashu about a subject that is constantly in the news and one that is of real concern to lots of people and that is microplastics. Good afternoon Radu and thank you for talking to us today. There is a lot of concern around the world about microplastics. These are the tiny pieces of plastic getting into our food and even into our lungs. Can you tell us where these plastics are coming from? Some of these uh, microplastics are coming from um, uh, man-made uh, fiber that is used, for example, for clothing or for other applications, uh, ropes, etc. Some others are coming from tires, but those are not microplastics, those are micro-rubber particles. But the majority comes from um, plastic-made products, for example, packaging which uh, once released in the environment will degrade but to a low level of degradation and will not be biodegradable so they will be persistent lying and floating in the environment for decades why is it that these products will not biodegrade they will not biodegrade because the molecular weight of the polymer is still too high large molecules of, of polymer with low oxygen content and the microbes will not be able to consume to use these um, materials for their um, food and energy needs. What can be done to prevent microplastics in the environment? Our company, we work for almost 30 years in developing a technology that is based on a catalyst which added to uh, polymers, to plastics when they are manufactured will control the life of the product. And if the product is discarded in the environment, the degradation rate will be high, uh, fast, and the end product will be completely bioassimilated by microorganisms. They will use the material for their food and energy requirements and will not leave microplastics or any other toxic uh, product in uh, the environment. This will happen in the regular outdoor environment. It doesn't require collection and to be sent to a composting facility. Can you tell us how long plastic products made with this technology will be fit for purpose before they degrade? The formulation is a little bit more complex. Besides the catalyst that will accelerate, greatly, greatly accelerate the degradation process, we also add a package of stabilizers. The stabilizers will control the shelf life and the service life of the product and will allow for different shelf life, service life, and also different degradation rate that would be required for different applications. By using this combination, we control perfectly the length of the shelf service life, the degradation rate, time and extent, and practically we offer a solution for any product that is uh, single-use or limited-time-use um, application. Can plastic products made with D2W be reused and recycled if collected during their shelf life or service life? Plastics incorporating uh, D2W can be used, reused as many times as required and they also can be recycled as um, the regular polyolefin material. Uh, we have commissioned studies to four independent laboratories who have proved that there is no, there are no issues in recycling materials incorporated in D2W. In fact, the plastics industry has recycled so far thousands and thousands of metric tons of plastic that incorporates D2W with no issues. We know that plastic products made with D2W can be recycled if collected. Can they also be disposed of in landfill? As long as the landfill contains oxygen, the degradation will occur followed by bioassimilation by microorganisms. And so it's, uh, the, the degradation by degradation, they also occur in a landfill. But it's not the primary purpose of the technology because the technology was developed as a fail-safe mechanism for any product will end up, that will end up in the open environment. Finally, Radu, are plastic products made with D2W intended to be thrown out into the environment and just left to biodegrade there? Absolutely not. The intention of the technology is to help the product to be used, reused, recycled and disposed of as 
um, as regular plastic is disposed of in different uh, environments. It will degrade and biodegrade only if it's released accidentally or deliberately in the open environment in order to avoid plastic accumulation and pollution.